BIM for Masonry, commonly referred to as BIM-M, is a masonry industry initiative geared towards promoting masonry in a BIM environment. We are pleased to promote the following video, which is one in a series, to aid users to model masonry within Autodesk Revit. These videos are for those who are already familiar with the Revit interface and modeling in Revit. Please visit BIMformasonry.org for all that BIMformasonry has to offer. In this, our third BIMM tutorial video, we'll be showing you an introduction to the CTC Express Tools Pack, an extension for use in Revit, which was created for you by the BIMM initiative. To download the extension, you'll need to go to BIMformasonry.org. To find the link, you'll scroll down the page a little bit. Note that the location will not always be the same as in this video, as BIM for Masonry will continue to add additional content. Now click on the link. When you are directed to this site, fill out the information to download the extension. You can also see there's a YouTube video on this webpage with instructions on how to install the extension. Please note that this is version 2. If you have downloaded version 1, the Revit extension has been updated to include additional information and content. Both the installation and reinstallation instructions are included in the YouTube video. To open the extension, click on the Revit Express Tools tab, then select BIMless Browser. As you can see, the extension opens up on the right. The extension includes 3D content, detail items, pre-built wall types, and additional profiles. We are going to start with wall creation. To load a wall, click on the wall, right click, and click load into project. Note I have already loaded several other wall types as well. Note you can also change the backup system. Over here on the right there's wood, and metal stud as options as well. Insert the wall, click on the structures tab, wall, and then click and drag to insert. This time we'll just select a different wall type with a different backup system. Click and drag to insert. And now we're going to do one made up of parts, which is another option. So we're going to choose a metal stud backup first. Click and drag to insert that. Then select rigid insulation. Make sure you have the right core face selected for inserting. And now we'll go ahead and draw on the veneer. Go ahead and select all the walls, and we're going to adjust their height. This way we can see everything a little bit better in plan. And as you can see, more information is now visible. And now we'll click on the wall section, and you can see them here. We have our two uh, built up wall types and then the one that we built up with individual wall types. We're going to take a look at the pre-built wall types a little bit. Click on the wall, edit type, edit structure, and you can see here we can change the thickness. Additionally, you can also change layers within the wall type. Therefore, you're not limited by what you loaded. You can change it however you want. Click out of this, and we're going to go ahead and add some detail to our wall sections, enhance them. So you can go up here and click on detail items, and you can see there's all these different options under these tabs. So we're going to go ahead and load a bond beam. Click on it and drag it in. And place it. And now we're going to add just a normal CMU detail component and click on a CMU wall profile. Click
click and drag it in and we're gonna go ahead and add a couple of them copy it up and all of this is to enhance our wall sections now say we want to have a angle support for the veneer click down here and as you can see there's an angle pre-built so same thing you can click and drag it in and we'll go ahead and flip it and you can go ahead and move it into place say you had an opening beyond or you needed a relief angle for some reason this is just another way to enhance your wall section and then as you can see there are a lot of other detail components pre-made as well you can uh, scroll through all of them um, but it's not just for wall sections. For instance, here's one if you were working on a plan detail as well. You can click and drag it in, and as you can see, it's a plan detail component for CMU. Now we're going to go ahead and play with some of the 3D content. Under 3D content, let's go ahead and we'll grab a bond beam, click and drag it in, and we can draw it. Let's go ahead and draw in a bond beam. And personal preference, you can go ahead and get rid of the tag. And we'll center it on the grid. Now if you click on the elevation, you can see that the bond beam came in just below level 1. We're really going to want our first course to start at grade, so we'll go ahead and bump it up 8 inches. Come back to plan. And... We're going to go in and select a wall. We'll go ahead and draw in a CME wall. I've already loaded it. So you can go ahead and click on the wall tab. It's been loaded. We can go ahead and click and drag our wall in. Head back to our wall section. As you can see, now we have a section of wall. So we have a bomb beam in our wall. Select both. Click copy and we'll go ahead and copy them up. Starting to build our more in-depth wall section. And as you're doing this, make sure to unclick constrain. Copy it up. And we'll copy it up one last time. And now we can just copy up the bomb beam to cap off the wall. And now we're going to go ahead and add a support ledger. Go ahead and click on the 3D content, go down to the support ledger, and you can go ahead and go click on it, drag it in, and you'll be able to draw it in. Drag from end to end, and that'll place it. And we'll go back to that wall section. And we're going to go ahead and just reorient it the way we want it to be. And we'll go ahead and make it eight feet off the ground. That's where our support's going to be. And say it's going to be epoxied into the wall. So we want a bond beam behind it. So we'll go ahead and drag this guy up. Can't quite get it to snap, but that's okay. We'll just go ahead and change it manually. And copy up the bond beam. Now you have a bomb beam to anchor into. If you go ahead and look in 3D2, all the pieces are in 3D. So you can uh, quantify it. It's all in volumes, lengths. You, you now can do a quantity takeoff. Uh, you can see the bomb beams here, all the wall pieces, the angle. It's all built up there. We'll head back to plan and then go to the elevation. And it's the same in elevation. If you're coordinating with another discipline, you can see your bond beams are here. You could make sure mechanical penetrations aren't going through here or something of that nature. So uh, now you can work with it and your consultants all in 3D. That wraps up our overview of the CTC Masonry Pack Extension for Revit brought to you by the BIM-M Initiative. Note that CTC has been producing updates for the extension, so keep an eye on BIMformasonry.org for additional updates. On behalf of the BIM for Masonry team, we hope you enjoyed this tutorial.